Mobile Stash. Okay, I'm going to start with my number one dislike. The number one dislike on this new Evo. And it might sound crazy. Maybe I'm the only one that cares about this. But my, a lot of the widgets are gone. They were built into the Evo last time. And here's how you get to your widgets. The things that are missing are the HTC Notes widget, which I loved. It was a really simple, quick um, app that you just put your note on and you just flip through your notes. Real simple, easy. Um, another one is HTC um, fo Footprints. That app is missing. I'm sorry, that widget is missing. And also, lastly, is the HTC Battery widget. Luckily, I was able to figure out how to go to the HTC Hub to get the, the uh, flashlight app. Um, which is... Just go here, you go to HTC Hub, right here, and you can actually search, hope you can see that, you can actually search for, um, search for apps and things to personalize your phone in the HTC Hub here, and that's how I found the HTC Flashlight app, I'm sorry, Flashlight Widget. But other than that, my other ones are missing, and I've actually reached out to HTC, and they've responded stating that go to the app store to find them, to see if you can find them. And I wrote back telling them that they're not there, and they just said, well, try to find an app that does the same thing if you can, type of thing. So I guess they just completely got rid of them, and I hear that they have it on like the One X, I believe, but they do not have it on the Evo 4G LTE on Sprint. That's my number one dislike. Okay, here's a pretty big one. Um, I, I don't think that we're, we've heard the end of this issue, issue and I think HTC is going to fix this. But multitasking is pretty annoying. If you're in one app and then you you know how to multitask, I'm sure if you, if you have this phone, you push this button down here, brings up all your recent apps. But most of the time, if you go back to something you, you were in five seconds ago, it will restart on you. It will not start off. It will not continue where you left off at. Do something about it. Okay, that. here's another dislike that I have about the Evo. Okay, you see this? And I don't know if this is a CNN issue or, or the way this phone operates with certain apps. I don't know. But the CNN app. Here's a headline um, notification. Headline alert. CNN alert. And the font is black. So therefore, I cannot see the what it actually says um so i mean you you have to squint real hard to see it but you can't really see it so that that's an issue not next good. up is youtube the youtube app is pretty good on this evo 4g lte but it's the when you're trying to upload a, a photo of sorry if you want to upload a video from like a the, your gallery or something when you're trying to upload there used to be an option to say a drop down box i have about five youtube accounts so um, I want to send my video to different places. So if you, it's no drop down box anymore. You have to log out of the current YouTube session you're in, log into the, the correct account, and then upload it. That's time consuming and frustrating. Next, I'm having an issue with the TuneIn app. The TuneIn app came with the phone. It was under music. It was it was right in here. It, it was tune in. Well, I had a problem with it, so I was trying to I I, um, I uninstalled it and then tried to reinstall it. But guess what? I can't. It can't be found. It's gone. It's completely. Um, it's let's just say. Let, let me go to my apps. My apps are here. Let's scroll down to tune in. Tune in radio shows installed. Completely it shows installed as you can see right here. It shows installed, but guess what when I go to my apps Scroll over to the T's Tune in is not there tune in is completely missing off my phone, and I don't know why Okay, I have a little problem with the calculator app um, if you're like me and you like to calculate how much per you like to calculate percentages. It used to be a little easier on the last Evo. You could say I want seven plus ten percent. You could hold down the menu button. It would bring up the percentage 
um, button, it will bring up your keyboard, which would allow you access to a percentage button. You push that, and there you go. You would you would hit it equals, and you have your answer. But now you have to do uh, you have to be creative to get you to your percentage. Of course, I'm not going to go into how you do that, but even if you flip it like this, you do not have a percentage button. Why not? Makes no this sense. This next issue here is truly amazing, and I don't get it, so hopefully someone can comment on it and let me know. I'm in my apps here, okay? Um, there used to be on my last Evo, Evo there was a, um, the original Evo, there was an app called Downloads, okay? Here's Dropbox and downloads should be in here alphabetically it should be right in here somewhere it's not there you do not see it nowhere to be found when you look at your widgets or anything it's just nowhere so but when you when you search for it you search for downloads it pops up here in the search it says downloads so the app does exist it just does not show up anywhere what's going on with that Another another thing that really let me down is the speaker phone. Sound quality is supposed to be so good on this phone and you hear about this Beats audio stuff and all of that, but it's a little frustrating that the sound quality on the speaker phone is not that great. There's some people when I'm talking to them on speaker phone because that's all I do by the way. I don't put phones to my head. I either do speaker phone or I use an earpiece, a headset. Um, but this speaker phone just doesn't have the same quality as my last Evo. That's not good when this is supposed to be a, a better version, obviously, than the prior Okay, another Evo. thing that's a little frustrating about this device. Let's just say that you're getting a call and like this. Let's just, I'm going to do a test call here. Let's say someone's calling you and you want to reject the call. On the last Evo, you could just hit menu and then send text the end of the story. You could have a pre-written text. Well, in this case, you don't have a pre-written text. You hit decline, it says send text. The texts that are here on the list are permanent. They're there for you. You can type in something manual if you want to, but who wants to do that if you're trying to quickly reject the call? Why don't they have an option for me to put my own in here? They don't have it. It doesn't exist that I can find. There is a way that you can go into your text messages and change pre-written text, but that has nothing to do with this, it appears. That's a little frustrating. Another small issue I have, um, it's, I've learned to work around it, but I love the search button on the, on the original Evo. I loved it, but it's gone, as you can see. So what I've done is put um, this here, um, the search here, which will allow me to search throughout the device, do a search throughout the entire device to figure out, find something on the phone that I'm looking for. So I worked around that, but that was an issue too. The next issue is a small issue, but it's an issue nonetheless. It involves the photos. Um, let's just say um, you've taken a photo, but you want to know when you took it, when you're looking at your the photo a year from now. But guess what? Um, the timestamp is missing. I've gone to the settings, I've gone through all of the settings, and the timestamp is simply missing from the uh, camera app. And I don't like that. I wish they put that back. But I can't complain because I love the camera app tremendously. It is excellent. It takes excellent pictures. has so many features. Things that you can do before you take the picture and then after you take the picture. So I can't really complain if that's the only thing they, they, they lost. But maybe they'll put that timestamp back on there. That's a dislike. And, oh yeah. Um, another quick uh, complaint about the camera app is that they don't they don't have a pause button. Uh, on the Samsung phones, you can record, and then in the middle of recording, you can hit pause, and then you can um, unpause it to continue the recording. I like that feature. It's really cool, but they don't have it. But again, I can't really complain. It a really nice camera. A small gripe that I have is the location of the charging port. It's on here on the on the left side. I loved it when it was on the bottom because for some reason, if I want to use this phone while it's plugged in, it's if I if I have if the plug is to the right, it's frustrating. You you have to constantly worry about trying to turn your phone like this and and all of that. It's easy no matter if you had it on the bottom, it wouldn't matter because it, no matter which side you're on, you could you could you wouldn't have an issue maneuvering through the phone without worrying about a wire. That's a little bit of an issue, but luckily this has a pretty good battery, so you don't have to use it okay. plugged in. And much. I don't have an example right now, but there's uh, I, I I keep getting at least. Five or six times since I've owned this phone for about a week, 
um, I get a error message that says set your time unable to recognize your time and I'm on Wi-Fi I'm on pretty decent 3G network I'm not like in a in a stairwell somewhere where it can't find my time zone but it's telling me to set my time constantly that's okay a I was gonna say that I had a problem with the glossy back but I've had it for like I said about a week and it's not that bad to be honest with you it, it actually looks pretty good people can spot the phone from across the room and it, it holds on to fingerprints, but not so bad. And it's just not as frustrating as I thought. When I first got it, it seemed like as if I would keep my finger on it like this, my finger would kind of start sweating a little bit. And But it, it's not really a problem. Okay, this is an extremely small issue, but um, I think it's my duty to be honest and tell you everything I can, every little detail I can. This little, there's an indention here where the, um, the earpiece where you're listening to someone when you're talking on the phone, it's up here. And it's, it's a little indention, and it collects a little bit of dust and crumbs and things. And I'm constantly doing this, <laughs> blowing it out to get everything out of there. Ah, like I said, small, but okay, this was an issue, but it's not really an issue for me anymore. So this is kind of more of a tip. Um, if, if, let's just say you're in any menu, the new, the new layout looks like this. You have a lot of check boxes, circles right here. There's a little circle, if you can see this on the camera here. It's a little circle, and you check it, um, and it puts check marks. Um, but when it comes out the box, they're blue, really light blue. So unless you're in the perfect lighting, it's difficult to see what you've selected. And this is important when you're doing a lot of using a lot of different apps. This is a small example here. But when I change my skin, which is here, it changed the color of that check mark, which is excellent. So now I can see from far away. I don't have to worry about did I just check that or did not check that. I just want to give you okay, a little tip. Okay, and. On that. Oh, uh, lastly, it, on Chrome, you can, as you'll see here, an example. You, when you're on a website, and I just happen to go to Android Central, which is a site that I like. You scroll down here, and you can you can always get to your notifications no matter what you're doing on the internet. But with the and this is on again, this is on Google Chrome, but on the stock um, internet app that comes with the phone. Uh, let me go to it here. If you go here, the internet. When you're on a website, and I'm on the same one here, Android, uh, Android Central, you do not have a notification. You can't get to your notification bar. You used to be able to hit the menu button on the last Evo. It would bring up your time and your everything up here, and then you can, you can bring it down. But on this phone, you hit the menu button. Great. It doesn't really do anything. You, you can actually hit home, but it gives you a second to pull it, but then it goes away, as you can see there. So you don't have full access to it. And I don't like that because sometimes when I hear a notification sound, I want to go ahead and, and scroll this down and pull that down and, and see who sent me something or whatever. But you can't on this one. But again, that was my, that's another one of my uh, pet peeves about this phone. But again, I use Chrome most of the time anyway, but just want to share Okay, that. you've heard my dislikes. Um, I, I, I like the phone a lot. I'm going to actually do a, another video showing all of the things I like and not just things that everybody knows about, things that you may not ever hear about, and that's my job here to try to show you things that you never hear about, instead of being like the rest of the, the other channels on YouTube that are just showing you things that everybody's talking about the same thing over and over, or you can take 20 photos at a time by holding a button. Most people know that. Um, so I'm going to show you things that you don't know, but as far as dislikes, I want to be honest and open and tell you the things I dislike, things that frustrate me daily, things I'm still trying to work through. Um, maybe figure out ways to fix the issues myself and reaching out to HTC and Google and anybody I can that'll listen. But anyway, um, this has been uh, J1 with Mobile Stash showing you my dislikes of the Evo 4G LTE on Sprint. Talk to you later, world.